I'm Michael Moore with the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra, and we're going to talk about breathing for brass players. Breathing is super important on all brass instruments, especially the tuba, which uses three times the volume of air as a trumpet. However, the, we don't play with a lot of pressure on any of these instruments. You want to have a lot of air flow. So we're going to work on air flow a little bit. You can always get a little plumbing fitting like this. You can get something, a little piece of PVC. You can get these at a hardware store for under a dollar. This is half an inch. You can get one that's three quarters. I wouldn't go any bigger than one inch, but you can put it in your mouth while you're doing breathing exercises and you just think the syllable ho, H-O. So you keep your throat open. You never want to hear <gasps> that kind of sound. It's always should be <sighs> so. You can take this and also put it, attach a bag to it so you can practice the same air, using the same air, and not have to uh, get dizzy quite as soon, because you will get dizzy eventually. So, there are three bellows systems. A bellows is like a fireplace bellows that, that I want you to, to work on. The first one is called the chicken. And you just, you put your hands under your armpits like a chicken. And the idea is that you want to, to breathe so that you're expanding your rib cage horizontally like this. You hear there's not much pressure or anything. You don't hear any of that. It's very much like, right? The second one is called the diagonal. You have one hand in your lower back the other hand on your breastplate or your sternum right here. This moves upward. This other one moves kind of out this way. That one is a little bit harder because we're not used to expanding in, in our lower back as much as, as we would for this. And the last one is called the piston. And it's like a piston in a car. It goes up and it goes down. Breathe to the bottom of your feet, like this. And of course you can use the breathing tube to do those as well. I, I suggest doing it standing up at first and then when you sit down, make sure that your torso is exactly like it was when you're standing up. I hope that these breathing tips can help you as you improve your breathing on a brass instrument.